A lawyer for Sean Diddy Combs is now criticizing that federal raid on two homes belonging to the hip-hop mogul. Combs' lawyer said heavily armed federal agents in L.A. and Miami engaged in, quote, a gross misuse of military-level force, end quote. According to reports, agents did seize electronic devices from the homes. Diddy is reportedly under investigation by a unit of the Department of Homeland Security that handles crimes involving human trafficking. Several lawsuits have also accused him of sex trafficking as well. McCombs was not detained during the raids and apparently cooperated with agents who executed search warrants at his Miami residence. That's according to his lawyer. Academy Award-winning actor Cuba Gooding Jr. has been named in a lawsuit that also alleges sexual assault and harassment by Sean Combs. And on Monday, a man identified in Jones' lawsuit as a drug mule for Combs was arrested on a cocaine possession charge as he prepared to board Combs' private jet in Miami. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's kind of a, becoming a yeah, spider web here. It's a lot. Um, but we are joined now by Stacey Jones, CEO and founder of advertising agency Hollywood Branded. Good to see you again. Good morning to you. Um, so Diddy has had a long reputation of being a bad boy, okay? Back in 1999, he was arrested on weapons charges with then-girlfriend Jayla. We talked about that earlier today. Yeah. Uh, and has had several legal, uh, legal run-ins since then, but has still gone on to have a massively successful career. Uh, so why has his reputation been so solid despite his past? Well, he's been around for a really long time. And we know that sex, drugs, and rock and roll or any other type of music really fit hand in hand. He's had so many touches through the years of really significant more than just brushes with the law, more than just brushes with uh, a tarnished reputation because he's lived a really fast lifestyle in the eye of the public in a scene that just, it, it causes a lot of more drama, a lot of more intrigue, a lot of more excitement. And so that's kind of what happens in that world. Right. And let's be clear, we're not talking about some tax evasion. I mean, if you read through the multiple lawsuits he's facing, we're talking about uh, rape and mm -hmm. sex trafficking. We're talking about that drugs. very drugs, mm -hmm. having mules, his mule, the drug mule who got the stuff allegedly for him was uh, was arrested. Now you have Cuba Gooding Jr. in the mix. And I look at my social media feed and I see a lot of clips right now about people telling stories right. and old interviews. And I was at this party and I saw this and there's questions about not just the crimes, but his sexuality. It always seems like once someone gets busted or gets in trouble, everyone says, oh, I saw right. or I knew it's like or the one domino time. pieces. <laughs> you know, and then people, I think, fairly ask the question, well, if you knew all this was going on, why right. the hell are you just saying something now? Well, I think that we always see that with celebrities. That's nothing new, right? And so when there is high drama around something, there are always going to be those... First of all, the hanger honors who are going to have been on the fringes who were looking in the whole time. But secondly, there is a lot that has happened here. And you were right. I mean, there's the Me Too movement that we're looking at. There is sex trafficking that we're looking at potentially. The Homeland Security is involved here. It is more over the top than over the top. It is a Hollywood story playing out on our screens right now. Um, his ex-girlfriend Cassie's allegations of rape and abuse revealed last year shed new light on, on a lot of concerning behavior. And I think concerning it doesn't even begin to cover what we read. And that's just a tip of the iceberg. I spoke with um, a, a former Homeland Security. Um, uh, he, he worked for that. And he said that, you know, this is just the first domino to fall. And, and for Homeland Security to be involved, as you were saying, that means that they have something there, right? Um, how did Cassie coming forward shift the person? perception of Diddy and he settled that really fast remember it was it was Next days day. yes yeah um, others he still yeah. you know denied uh, the allegations but he settled that so fast um, but how did that kind of shift the perception well 
all of these developments add to a lot of the controversies that have come out right now. But what we have to remember is when people settle a lawsuit, it's not always because they're guilty. A lot of times you're looking at the cost, you're looking at the public impact. Over the last three days alone, just since this has just started happening on Monday, you are seeing over a billion dollars of earned media, according to Critical Mention, when I pulled a media report on that. There's This is covering everywhere around the world. It's a story that's just going to continue growing. And when Cassie filed this, you know, it sparked a lot of notice and it started having people coming out of the woodwork of yes me too this happened to it or yes oh i saw this over here and so the stories just started unfolding and rolling and he can't keep this in a box right now and it seems very much so like this is being positioned kind of like a Jeffrey Epstein, because mm -hmm. you're looking at all the things that get media attention, right? And the public's attention. You're looking at someone with a lot of money, who's been living big for a very long time, who has crossed many, many people with some questionable uh, scenarios and situations that have rolled out from there. And he has been very protected over all of these years. So there's a lot of interest into seeing what actually is happening right now. It does feel like Epstein yeah. and R. Kelly mm -hmm. and Cosby, where it's yeah. so much smoke, it leads to fire and it doesn't end wow. well. And that's just what this mm -hmm. feels like on a, perhaps wow. even a grander scale. Yeah. Stacey Jones, CEO and founder of Hollywood Branded, thanks so much for giving yeah. us a minute. We appreciate it.